Hey, orange one here. So uh, we were working on that electric um, chainsaw and all that stuff, and there's this Kevlar zombie. Um, and, oh, I forgot to tell you, the electric chainsaw, the UPS stuff, all, basically all UPS conversion mods don't work the way they're supposed to anymore. Um, so I ended up uh, spawning in another electric chainsaw because you can't really take the thing off once it's on there and you can't disassemble electric chainsaw. So I ended up making one with a uh, light battery attachment so we could use that on this dude. Um, I haven't really encountered these guys though. It sounds like a, something that would have high armor. So I think the chainsaw would probably cut through it, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's just kind of do a little test with our bolt driver and see how that does. Uh, let's just let them get closer. Just let some time go by. Okay, they're pretty far away. Yeah, let them get close enough where I get a guaranteed headshot. A little bit closer probably would be good. There we go. Two damage. Okay, so this this guy has very high armor. Um, that could be a problem for us. Let's just take a couple steps back for a minute. If I uh, look at their health, that like didn't really even hurt them. Um, Let's look at if we have this well wielded. Just go ahead, drop it. It's fine. I'm curious if I turn this on. Activate it. 82 cut. That's pretty good amount of damage, but I mean, the other thing is um, that's pretty good damage on it too, so I'm not so sure. I think what we want to do is get the coil gun out. <clears throat> Let's lure this guy like maybe over here. Just a little bit out of the city. Uh, maybe stop running. I just walk a little bit. There's a hazmat zombie here. We could uh, we could try out our chainsaw on him. That would not be the worst idea. I kind of want to try out the chainsaw on a zombie. Go ahead, turn that bad boy on. Uh, yeah, we're not having very much luck with hitting you. Oop, they hit our eyes there. I did 80 something damage to it, so that's pretty cool, but as you can see, we're, our hit chance is pretty low on that. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Um, I think what we're going to want to do is get the uh, the coil gun out. Yeah, go ahead just keep that in the inventory. I think we'll let this dude get close to us and then we'll, we'll use the coil gun. The thing about the coil gun is it should punch right through armor. Um, if I look here, where's our armor piercing? 29. So if an enemy has armor, it it's not going to protect it that much from this. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get them so that we're not wasting our flechette rounds. Oh, it malfunctioned. Uh, 31 damage. Go ahead, take some steps back. I mean, 31 damage, that's a lot better than, what was it, 2 that we were getting with the bolt driver? Yeah, this guy, I think we need to take out old school way. Not old school, I mean, this is actually much more of a new school way than anything else that we have. Get some distance, please. I'd like to get... A guaranteed headshot, um, maybe a little more distance. We can get our aim up. How loud are we being right now? A hundred. Yeah, it's pretty loud. Okay, so they're dead. 
Uh, the tough zombie. Can I? Yeah, we can get that out and then we can draw this and it'll be pretty quick. All right. That sounds good to me. Oh, look, they have a pocket first aid guide. Oh, really? That can give us more first aid? Sweet. I will gladly take that. Um, and then did we... Yeah, we didn't pulp you. Okay, good. Uh, maybe stop running. And reload if you can. No um, oil gun. I still want in the scabbard. Or the uh, survivor harness. Um... Where's our bolt driver? There it is. There it is. Um, go ahead. Uh, reload that. No. Yeah. Okay, it's just like in an infinite loop. There. Go ahead. Put that back in there, and then our ankle pouch. Okay, it still has the ammo in it. I look at that. Um, back holster, let's fill with the one that's full. Yep. We'll reload the other. No. Keep that in there. And this, I, w I would like to wield actually. We'll pick up our cheese. And then we'll reload that. Okay, that's good. That's what I was trying to do. Um, I think what I want to do is maybe try and get a CBM from that downed, uh, downed zombie that we had around here. The uh, technician. Oh, grabbers grabbing us. Living up to their name. Yeah, you're gonna come over here, aren't you? Yeah. It's a shame the uh, the combat chainsaw isn't a more functional weapon because it is a really cool item. It kind of makes sense. It's not actually really, you know, useful. <laughs> um. I'm gonna go kill these zombies up here, then we'll we'll try and see about harvesting that CBM. I think we should just kinda clear the area. If possible. Tends to be a good idea to clear. Though whenever I think of clearing, I think of that one episode um in The Walking Dead of uh Morgan when he's just like total crazy person clearing out zombies. That's actually kind of appropriate for Nosh. We do have a good amount of zombies around, around us here. Just want to clear out our nearby surroundings. Um, okay, so that's good. Oh, you know, we should have probably checked that Kevlar Dude, uh, see what he had on him. Let's just wait for this dude to get close enough for a headshot, because we do have some zombies around us. <sighs> okay, that message is getting a little annoying. Let's go over here. Yeah, there's actually a lot of bruised corpses. Um couple of holes here too. Probably want to go just smash those corpses. Yeah, that's probably a good use of our time. This is an interesting building. It looks like maybe a survivor um, hideout, something. We have a crawler right here. And there's actually quite a large group up there. It's very sizable.
go get these bolts, maybe head back down here. And they're pretty far away, I'm not too worried about them seeing us or hearing us. Get two more bolts in there. Okay, that looks good. Oh, we completely have forgotten our rifle here. Why don't we get that back on our shoulders? Um, and then let's get the umbrella back out and maybe pal off. Just thinking we want to maybe boost our morale. Um, where's that technician? Yeah, you're right there. So what should I do? Why don't we just drive the car up to him and then we'll see if it lets us butcher. Never mind, there's a, there's zombies down here. Oh, they got attracted to the coil gun. Where we remember when we were shooting the coil gun just not too long ago? Zombies. Okay, well, we should probably clear a little bit more before trying to get that CVM. Have you guys seen us yet? Yes, you have. Okay, you're gonna come to us then. I think. Yeah, we can handle this group. It's not gonna be too bad. Oh, actually, that could be very, very useful. Now keep on coming. I want to keep that spitter at a decent distance from us, so when they spit next, yep, the zombies keep on going towards spit. And look, they're all they're all hurting pretty bad, actually. Um, bolt driver, sure, go ahead and get that out. And look, they all died. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Spitter. Um, did he just break those windows with the spit? I'm pretty sure that's what I just saw. Dude, that was probably the easiest time I've had clearing out zombies in this game. That was crazy fast. Um, you're probably not going to get hit due to... Line of sight problems with the side of that building. We've got three bolts left. Should be enough to take care of these guys if we have them run into the spit. We might not even have to take care of them. I would like the experience. Okay, and we got one more bolt left. Come on here towards the spit, yeah. There we go. Easy peasy, right? Alright, let's use our inventory menu right here to get that bolt, and then we'll get the spitter underneath us. And we will just dismember you. And we'll bash there. Smash there. Probably smash these guys before we do anything else. And then we'll just reload. Okay, so that's looking pretty good, I think. I think we might be able to try dissecting this dude now. Maybe we should have a little snack. Here, I have some candy. Some cheese. A little bit of chewing gum that's caffeinated. Keep us awake. Seeing how our character is constantly never getting enough sleep. Um, and they're already tired. It's like the morning. Uh, is there anything else? I probably, if we have vitamins, I should probably take that. Yes, we will take a multivitamin. Okay, um, probably, I also want to just double check that we've got everything of use off the ground around us. There's a handheld gaming system. We'll pick that up. We'll bring that with us. In the car, of course. And then...
where this coil gun does make that annoying with the reloading thing not working for other items. I wanted to reload my MP3 player. Sure, just go with that. And then we'll get the car up. I mean, we do have zombies that can they're within sight of us, so definitely not ideal. Trying to do a dissection here. I'm getting impatient. I really would like a CVM. But we need to get our first aid skill up a little bit higher as well. Okay, um, of course we do have a zombie coming our way, creature, shrieking. Um, stop reloading, yes. Go ahead and reload now, okay never mind. Keep on thinking that we're good, but we're not. Now, go ahead, reload. Yeah, let's uh, read up on our first aid first before we do anything. Just spend a little bit of time reading that. Um, actually, hold on. Yeah, stop reading. Go ahead, listen to the MP3 player. And then you can continue reading. If someone comes towards us, then we'll kill him. Um, I feel like we, this is going to take a little while to read enough. Yeah, it's fine. There are a good number of them around us. But we've been relatively quiet, so it's not too bad. Okay, now we're starting to get rained on. Stop reading. Yes. Uh, go ahead, get that umbrella out. Actually, we should probably just clear them out here, huh? Let's just take a little break from reading. Uh, yeah, get the bolt driver back out. I know we just put it away. Go, one of them's down. Smash him. Oh, we do have another spitter there. Why don't we come up here? We'll wait till we got some better aim on you. So we got guaranteed hits. And I would rather not get spat on again, so. Yeah. I'll just pick that up. And then you can come towards me. Uh, yeah, stop reloading. I don't know why I clicked that. Oh, you're gonna die in there. And then there's this other dude that's down here somewhere. Yeah, you. I would like to take aim at you before you can actually get within your ranged attack. There we go. Perfect. And then, is that zombie not able to break that fence? Is that what I'm seeing right now? That weak? That's yeah, sad there, zombie. Go ahead and pull him back. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and dismember this guy. Man, and before I know it, we're already most of the way through the episode, huh? Okay, um... I would like to make another grilled cheese sandwich, but I don't think we have the means to do so here. Let's put that away, 
and activate the towel. See, it's so nice when you have those uh, those favorited items. It makes your life just so much faster. Wondering what that was. It does. I thought it was tainted meat, but I just wanted to make sure. Um, maybe stop running. We're about to start being out of breath. Okay, we'll do like right there. That should be good. We have a table. And take us something like an hour to dissect this dude, but we need to finish reading our book first, huh? Yeah, keep on reading. Hey, my cat just out of nowhere bit me. <laughs> Cats, right? Hey, we're actually pretty far along. Um, stop reading, yes. Go ahead and get that bolt driver out. Oh wait, it just exploded on us. Okay, uh, keep on reading. Yeah, unless they're coming towards us, I don't care about zombies being nearby. Uh, ignore. Okay, so it looks like we got up to first aid level 2. Um, yeah, first aid level 2. I'm also just kind of curious about what we can make with that. Um, primary skill, any skill, let's go with that. Oh, okay, that... Oh, no, that's pretty terrible. Oh, this... That's weird. Is that the one that protects against acid or something? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is. Um, mutagen. Oh, what? We could craft our own mutagen? That's weird. Uh, yeah, we're not really going to use much... It's gonna do uh, what we need to do there. Let's see, we have a table around here, don't we? Where's our table? What about our butchery? Huh? Did we leave those back at base? It looks like we left those back at base. I'm confused. I could have sworn that we brought that with us. Well, that kind of puts me in an awkward situation. I would really like to butcher this guy. Um, can I just feel dress as well? Just first. I know less now if there's CVMs um, inside, right? Uh, yeah, there might be box. So why don't we bring that corpse back uh, with us back to base? We could do that. Yeah, I think that that's probably a good call. Okay, let's see. I uh, if we're gonna drive back, I feel like with how the auto drive has performed so far, might not auto drive just quite yet. Um, yeah, let's get out of the city and then we'll try doing the auto drive for a little bit. And then we'll go back home for a little while. Let's see, if I say I want to go back here, I just need to make sure that I'm ready to press 5. Yes, stop driving. Oh. No. Please tell me we didn't ruin a part of the car there. The frame got damaged. Oh man. 
I knew that was gonna happen. Stupid auto drive. Um, that's really frustrating. We're gonna need to get a frame. Let's go ahead and just take the door and the frame off of this car. It's not gonna even take that long. But we can repair that, so that's good. And then we'll repair that. I don't wanna use my duct tape though on the headlight. Okay, so let's see, we were, we were going back to base. Let's keep on heading there. Do I dare let the auto go? I think I want to get past this. Uh, I feel like I should just drive myself. What we've seen and knowing that there's critters. Oh. I pressed uh, five too many times. Yeah. You know, we could really secure our food source if we just stopped and grabbed that ant. That would probably be the smart thing to do. But we've already established that Nosh is not that smart. He wants superpowers. That's what he wants. We got post-apocalypse survivor who hears voices, can't sleep, and he wants superpowers. He wants those CBMs. I mean, you gotta think that pre-apocalypse, he saw some uh, pretty crazy things, like cyberpunk almost level things. And if you know anything about the prisons in this lore, um, they were they have had some experimentations going on in them, so I've got a feeling he's seen some bizarre stuff. Okay, there's a corrosive zombie right there. And a boomer. Right in our neighborhood. Not okay. Definitely not okay. Uh, let's just back the car up a little bit. We'll just get parked and then we'll take care of those zombies. Let's go to like here. Yeah, we can take care of that corrosive zombie. That is a very different tile than what I'm used to. Don't they like throw acid at you or something? Well, wow, he's he's taking quite a few hits to take down. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and get the other one out. That boomer. You're gonna hurt our health if we don't take you out, so we gotta go down. And oh look at that. Nice, we got some ammo there. Where's the child? In the woods up there. Um, I should probably take care of you. Uh let's just dismember them. And then, let's see, where is this guy? Okay, um, there's actually a couple of them in the woods around here. Well, let's take care of that. A skull zombie. That's a new one. I haven't seen those before. You, my friend, wandered into the wrong camp. We do only have five volts left, so we're going to let you guys get a little closer before we take aim. And that didn't quite work out. Go ahead and get the, uh, the Jane out. And I'm just going to dump um, the gun there. Uh, 
And I mean, considering how much damage we do with the Jane, it's kind of like, why would we even use the uh, combat chainsaw? Unless we're like, RPing as like 40k soldiers, you know? Go ahead. Oh, man. This coil gun. Just drop it. Because it's annoying me. Are you... Yeah, just wield it. Put the Jane away. Keep that on you. I guess our person doesn't quite understand the whole... Um, uh, reload command the way I want him to. Um, so let's go ahead and go down. Do we have any bread? I'm just thinking if we have bread, we could make ourselves a quick grilled cheese. Now we have sweet bread. <gasps> Chihuahua puppy? That's pretty awesome. So we got a little baby chihuahua. Which is kind of weird because it's like, where did it come from? Uh, we don't have... Do we have bread? No, we do not have bread. Well, my cheese, do I get a bonus if it's hot? Cold? Let's just maybe heat it up. Just eat that for now. Um, there's an, a zombie right there. A good thing that I uh, I came back out because you would have wrecked my uh, power source there. If I let you just wander around. Maybe we should just do one more pass around our house. Yeah, I think we're in the clear now. Okay. Yeah, we're good, right? Let's just, uh, let's get that carcass. Where is it? Maybe we can wield that. Yeah, just put that in my back holster. That's fine. I'm sorry about that noise, but I really want to see if we can get anything useful from this dude. Um, where's our... we got an X-Acto knife, right? I bet it's in, the, in here somewhere with our butchery table. Acto knife, yep. And then I'm uh, just gonna have a look around, see if we can find our butchery table. Yep, our butchery rack and table are in here. So I need to remember to get those before we end. I'm just gonna have this go just a little bit longer than it usually does. See if we can get. Um, oh, where's that exacto knife? Yeah, get that. And then I think we also probably need the toolbox, right? Or do I already have that on me? Um, maybe we should dump some stuff first. Let's unload a little bit. Yeah, um... We'll do that. We don't need both of those on us, and maybe like that. Yeah, that sounds good. Up running. And then 
the whole thing. The reason that we were doing this was to get that toolbox, and then let's go ahead and, and see what we can do here, huh? It's going to take 11 minutes, but that's okay. We've got time. Plenty of time. Uh, just faulty ionics. I bet that's because we, uh... This faulty already deployed needs to be set, reset to its factory state. Huh, I've not seen that, so... I'm, I don't know if that means that we could fix it or not. Alright, well, I'm gonna end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.